Hello everyone and welcome to the RPG Builder announcement. So in this video I'm going to be explaining what RPG Builder is and what I plan it to be in the future after the initial release. So first of all let's start with what it actually is. RPG Builder is a Unity extension that I'm building. I started it about a month ago now and um, it is both a huge client-side code base that will handle all kind of actions such as combat, inventory, and you know pretty much any kind of things you can think of for an RPG. And one of the most important part is the editor you're seeing here. So this is a 100% custom editor I started building for RPG Builder. And this is where you're going to spend 99% of your time when, you, when you're building a game you know, with RPG Builder. Um, and the reason for that is because this is pretty much where you're doing everything. And that's what I meant when I said there is no programming involved. Like abilities, effect, NPC, stats, all the things you're seeing here, items, skills, races, classes, all of that are going to be created by you in the editor. And this editor is of course giving you as much freedom and flexibility as possible so that you can customize everything and make your really own game. So um, that's uh, for sure pretty cool because that's something I'm myself having a lot of fun with um, to play with. For example, with the ability uh, module, let me show you something really quick. Um, right here we have a fireball. So it's a re you know pretty basic fireball. You're casting it and um, you're, you know, it's just one projectile going. And there is also a talent tree system that you can see here. Once again, all of that does not require any programming involved. And also the entire UI you're seeing here uh, has been generated by um, RPG Builder. And I'm going to show you how in a bit. But first, let's level up this fireball level one to level two and close the UI and now use the fireball. Oh, okay, so you can see now it's shooting two projectiles, right? Let's level it up to the to the last rank, you know. And now it's shooting three projectile. Very cool. Um, so this is part of the talent tree system that I'm going to be showing in a in a dedicated video. But now let's go to the fireball rank and to the third uh, fireball ability. My bad. And to the third rank of this ability, so that we can you know tweak it a bit. So I can show you how easy it is to to make your own abilities. So instead of three projectile, it's going to be shooting nine. And it's now going to go in a 60, uh, 60 degree angle. And what else could we change? Let's say that now I also want it to heal the enemies for whatever reason. So let's add another effect applied when it's actually hitting um, enemies. So you just hit save. You then close the editor. You use the ability again. And you see that already it's a very different ability. And now when it's hitting enemies, it's also healing them, as you can see. So that was it, like it took us a few seconds to tweak this ability and this is how it works for anything in the editor. And the beautiful thing is that as you can see we did it right in game, like you don't have to restart uh, your game or anything, so you can tweak things very very quickly. Um, coming back to the combat trees, uh, as you can see here, once again I'm not gonna go in detail about all those things because all those modules uh, deserve their own video because they are very in-depth. Um, but just to quickly show you uh, what I meant when I said that the UI is 100% you know, automated and dynamically created for you, so you don't have to manually place those abilities in your tree. Uh, let me show you what if we wanted this fireball ability here to be top left now. So we would simply have to change the row amount from 4 to 1, hit save, and just refresh the UI you know, by opening it, and that's there we go, like it's just top left and you didn't do anything, you literally just went in the editor, change one value and your UI is now different. What if we wanted all abilities to be on the exact same um, tier, so on the first line, but on top of each other. So we could just simply change all those values, hit save again, refresh the UI and that's it, that's pretty much done. So yeah, that's uh, definitely one of the coolest thing uh, about RPG Builder is that most of the work is done by me. You just have to focus on the design of your game and uh, adding the content in the editor. So of course we have things such as items. Uh, as you can see here, you have you know a character panel, stats. Um, you can you know move items around, equip them. You can have, uh, for example, right now we have the bow on the. Um, back and uh, the axe equipped. 
uh, items have stats, so you have many, many different stats. Even stats are actually created directly in the editor. And once again, they do not even require any programming. Once again, there is going to be a dedicated video to that. Uh, it's way too complex to, to do it in this video. Um, so yeah, there is much, much, much more than that. And this is only what is currently uh, implemented in RPG Builder. I didn't even talk yet about what I want uh, in the future. So both before release and after release, because I plan on heavily um, updating these assets in the future years. So what I plan for the future? Pretty much, uh, first of all, improving and uh, expanding what's already existing. So the ability system, effect, and so on. And of course, adding new modules just like that. Um, the AI is also going to be receiving a pretty big update in both terms of movement and um, combat. So you will be able to create very, very fun bosses and uh, enemies and or even allied NPCs, stuff like that. There is going to be a quest system. There is also going to be a dialogue system. And uh, I also, yeah, also I plan to uh, implement gathering and crafting. And the very, very cool thing about gathering and crafting that I plan to do is that I'm going to be um, porting the combat tree system to also gathering and crafting. So you will be able to have trees, for example, for your crafting uh, profession. So for example, you could have a blacksmith uh, tree where you actually learn your recipes from the tree and upgrade them and so on. Um, once again, it's way too in-depth to uh, cover this in a short announcement video, but you get the idea. So I really hope you're excited about this as much as I am. And um, I would be more than happy if you actually subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be posting so many videos. Every time there is something cool to show, I'm going to be showing it. And on top of that, um, consider joining the Discord so we can actually start chatting and also Feel free to ask any question, obviously, but also suggest anything. Like if you think something will be cool and will be fitting with the RPG Builder assets, uh, I'd be more than happy to add it to the wish list and um, possibly add it in the initial release or in a later update. So thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I see you in the next video.